kind of insulting. It's brave, it's bold of him, but it's also, it's like, Jesus Christ, there's levels to this world. It's brave, it's bold, but it's also a massive gamble. Jake Paul just got canceled by Joe Rogan after revealing something shocking. The problem child just can't seem to stay out of the spotlight, especially when it comes to stirring up trouble. But this time, he might have finally crossed the line. This isn't just another wild tweet or off-the-cuff comment at a press conference, nope. Jake took it to the next level. In a series of leaked voicemails and private conversations that somehow found their way into the public eye, Jake was caught saying some seriously controversial stuff. And we're not just talking about his usual trash talk. He took aim at boxing legends, current fighters, and even his own fans. Just when you thought the world of boxing couldn't get any crazier, the YouTuber turned boxer has managed to push the envelope even further. But this time, it might just cost him everything. Joe Rogan has called out Jake in a way we've never seen before. Could this be the end of Jake Paul's career? Let's break it down. Joe Rogan has officially had it with Jake Paul, and let's be real, this has been brewing for a while. Joe's been calling out Jake for making waves in the fight world for all the wrong reasons. Jake's got a reputation for cherry-picking his opponents, going after those who are past their prime or not even boxers to begin with. It's like he's all bark and no bite, using big names just to boost his fame and rack up followers. But Joe? He's seen right through Jake's facade from the start, and this time he's not holding back. Joe is asking fans to join him in canceling Jake Paul once and for all. He's saying it's time to stop the problem child from polluting the sport of boxing with his dirty tactics and disrespect. If Jake can't respect the sport, then maybe it's time for the sport to show him the door. And after what Jake just revealed, it's become almost impossible to like him, let alone respect him as an athlete in the fight world. So, what exactly did Jake Paul say that caused him to face cancellation? It all started when a voicemail of Jake talking to some of his close buddies in camp got leaked. Yeah, looks like someone betrayed Paul by letting the whole fight world in on Jake's secret talk. In this conversation, Jake can be heard trashing the legacies of boxing legends, including Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, and even his upcoming opponent, Mike Tyson. Jake didn't just compare himself to Ollie, he went further, stating that he believes he's the new face of boxing and that those old-timers are just relics of a bygone era. He even hinted that his fights were drawing more attention than Ollie's did back in the day. Now, comparing yourself to Ollie in the ring is one thing, but outright disrespecting the legends of the sport is another. Jake's words revealed a lack of respect for the history and tradition of boxing and that didn't sit well with boxing pros and pundits. But it gets worse. Jake went on to say that he views boxing as just another business, a way to make millions without any regard for the sport's integrity. He even mentioned that he didn't care about boxing's legacy, saying it's just a means to an end, and that end, according to Jake, is his bank account. Let's be real, Jake's in the boxing game for the glitz and glam, not for the love of the sport, or the grind to get better. Just look at his track record. Every fight he's been in has been more about the money and the hype than actually proving himself as a legitimate boxer. Remember when he fought Ben Askren? That wasn't a fight, it was a clown show. Askren, a retired fighter with zero boxing skills, was just a paycheck for Jake, not a real challenge. And what about Tyron Woodley? Sure, he was a UFC champ, but he was way past his prime and not a boxer either. Jake's just picking these opponents to make sure he walks away with a win, not to test his skills or give fans a real close fight. It's all about the pay-per-view numbers, the fame, and the followers. Even his fight with Anderson Silva, a legend in his own right, was another cash grab. Silva was 47 years old for crying out loud. Jake's fights have been nothing but cash grabs with zero competitiveness, and they've done nothing to advance the sport of boxing. Instead of climbing the ranks and earning respect like real fighters do, Jake's just been riding the wave of social media fame and big payouts. He's in it for the spotlight, the headlines, and the money. 
and honestly, the boxing world deserves better. Now, Joe Rogan is known for his unfiltered opinions, and when he heard what Jake Paul had said, he didn't hold back. On his podcast, Rogan went off, calling Jake's comments disrespectful, arrogant, and a slap in the face to every fighter who has ever stepped into the ring. Rogan emphasized that boxing is more than just a business, it's a sport built on respect, honor, and tradition. Rogan dropped bombshells on Jake by saying, Jake Paul thinks he's bigger than the sport, but boxing isn't just about making money, it's about legacy and the people who came before you. When you disrespect legends like Ollie and Tyson, you're not just insulting them, you're insulting the entire sport. And that's not something you can just walk back. Joe Rogan isn't just any voice in the fight world. He's Asterix, the Asterix voice. The man has seen the sport of boxing inside and out, and his knowledge runs deep. From analyzing the biggest bouts to interviewing the legends of the sport, Joe's insight is unmatched, and his opinions carry serious weight. When Joe speaks, the fight community listens. Fans don't take his words with a grain of salt, they take them as gospel. That's why when Joe started calling out Jake Paul for his antics, it didn't take long for everyone to hop on the train to cancel Jake. Hashtags like hash cancel Jake Paul and hash Jorogun was right are blowing up on social media and it's clear that fans have had enough. Jake didn't just step on a few toes, he's stomping all over the fighters that fans love and respect. By firing shots at everyone's favorites and trashing them like he's already on their level, Jake's showing just how delusional he's become. It's like he's completely lost touch with reality. Joe Rogan's been around long enough to see through the smoke and mirrors, and he knows when someone's in it for the wrong reasons. And now, thanks to Joe's no-nonsense approach and brutally honest takes, the entire fight community is rallying to shut Jake Paul down for good. Speaking of Jake Paul and boxing legends, Jake is getting ready for his biggest challenge, yet stepping into the ring with the one and only Mike Tyson. That's right, on November 15th, Jake will face off against the baddest man on the planet. Ever since this fight was announced, it's been the hottest topic in the fight world. Fans are going absolutely crazy over it, and the hype is unreal. Even Netflix has jumped on board, making this fight the biggest event of the year, which is a big thing to say about a fight involving Jake Paul. But let's be real, this is the biggest challenge of Jake's career, and he's risking it all. Tyson might be 58, but the guy still has the power to knock out anyone in a split second. The question everyone's asking is, can Jake really hang with a legend like Mike, or is he about to get the reality check of a lifetime? One thing's for sure, though, when November 15th rolls around, the entire world will be watching, and Jake's got everything on the line. Let's talk about Joe Rogan's take on this Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson matchup, because Joe has been against this fight from day one. Seriously, he's been sounding the alarm since the moment it was announced. Joe's been sending Jake warning after warning, telling him he's playing with fire. Rogan's made it crystal clear that this isn't just another payday, it's a dangerous gamble, and Jake might be in way over his head. Joe's been urging him to rethink this whole thing, saying that Tyson could be the one to end Jake's hype train for good. But it's like Jake isn't even listening, he's dead set on proving something. But with Rogan's warnings 